show is brought to you by Connect, providing fixed satellite internet everywhere in Nigeria, even far from the city. Getting internet at home or at work has never been so easy with Connect. Good morning and welcome to Business Angle on DRTV, where we'll update you with happenings in the business world as we look at prices, products, services, and the economy, and also bring you conversations around it. And mercy, a mercy, uh, worry. Uh, over to our sponsor's message. Satellite internet up to 100 Mbps with unlimited data usage directly from space. Find out more on connect.com. Good morning and welcome to Business News. This content over the Central Bank of Nigeria's cash withdrawal policy is growing with the call on legislative power to kick out the governor of the Central Bank of Nigeria, Godwin Emefiele. The group made the call in a statement signed by its national coordinator, Emmanuel Omubiko, on Sunday. Omubiko said the governor had shown signs of arrogance and flagrant disregard for constitutional provision, urging the National Assembly not to let Emefiele destroy the economy with his Dracorian and anti-people fiscal and monetary policies. The CBN in a memo last Tuesday had directed that individuals would only be able to withdraw 100,000 naira per week while organizations could only access 500,000 naira per week. The World Bank has projected that debt servicing will go up 123.4% of the federal government's revenue in 2023. This was according to a presentation made by the new World Bank lead economist for Nigeria, Alex Sinet, in November 2022. The document presented projected that the debt servicing will go up 100.2% of federal government revenue by the end of 2022. This was a decline from the earlier projection in its October Africans Pause report during the World Bank annual meeting this year. Nigeria's crude oil production rose to 1.185 million barrels per day in November 2022 by the country in the past seven months. Later's oil production figures obtained from the Nigerian Upstream Petroleum Regulatory Commission on Sunday showed that the country's output increased by 171.119 barrels per day in November when compared to what was recorded in the preceding month. This came as the Organization of Petroleum Exporting Countries announced that the document of cooperation between the cartel and non-OPEC members has stabilized the oil market. And that's it for Business News. I am Nancy Oyebuchi. Satellite internet up to 100 Mbps with unlimited data usage directly from space. Find out more on connect.com. Connect. 
Fixed. Fixed satellite internet up to 100 Mbps with unlimited data usage directly from space. Find out more on connect.com. Good morning and welcome to our interview segment where we'll be looking at implication of CBN's limits on cash withdrawal on the economy. The Central Bank of Nigeria has imposed first cash withdrawal limits on individuals and organizations which will become effective on January 9, 2023. According to a new memo issued by the CBN to banks on Tuesday last week, individuals will be will only be able to withdraw 100,000 naira per week from over the counter point of sales machines and automated teller machines while organizations can assess 500,000 naira per week and banks have to load only 200 naira and lower denominations into their ATMs. However, there is an exemption that allows up to 5 million naira for individuals and 10 million naira for corporate organizations once a month with certain requirements. What's the implication of these developments on businesses? Our guest this morning is uh, Mr. Eru Ray Felix, Vice Chairman, Anan Wari Branch. Good morning and thanks for joining us. Good morning, Nigerians. Good morning, Deltans. Okay, uh, what do you make of this new policy? Well, this new policy is uh, it told some persons depends on the angle you looked at it from. Okay. Though there are controversy over the policy, but to the one who is bringing it out is a good policy, and to individual that is hearing it, receiving it, some may see it as a bad policy, some may see it as a good policy. Okay. Now, the Central Bank of Nigeria uh, says over 80% of currency circulation outside the box of the commission banks. Do you actually see this policy helping to uh, retain more cash in the bank? To some extent, yes. And to some other, if you look at it from another dimension, it will not. Because what it takes now for an individual to be, can only have a limit of maybe 100,000 in a week. Now for like somebody who has a shop who is a petty trader okay. who may want his money, his cash for business transaction. If he gathers so much, he might decide not to take it to the bank. He might decide to keep it by himself. Okay. And that we also the policy will be forfeited in that dimension. So because you keeping your money in the bank, assessing it again becomes a problem to you. So you see the difficulties in it on how to maybe if you are a trader, you want to go to market, you have been saving up to the time you want to maybe you want to buy goods that is worth five hundred thousand and then within a week you are only limited to about hundred thousand. So it will be difficult for you to have your money back. So the most businessmen may prefer to keep their money with it themselves and that will also hamper the policy because the aim of the policy is to bring back the money to the bank. But these are some of the loopholes that the policy will be great. Will okay, create. okay. Business uh, owners actually keeping a, a huge sum of money uh, by themselves. Is that not them taking a lot of risk? It's a very big one. It's a very big risk. But you no, know, if you look at the risk involved, you no. Know, Every individual has a difference when it comes to business. Okay. Uh -huh. There are some persons who want to take extra risk. There are some persons who don't know how to take any form of risk. So, but what would be the end time if you decide to take your money to bank and maybe time for you to uh, fill back your job and uh, you get to the bank, you are only permitted to withdraw a hundred thousand naira or five hundred thousand naira. And what you want to buy at uh, that particular time may be more than what you, the limit. So it will become a problem to you. For you to restock back your shop will become a problem. It will take a period of time. And time is money. Okay. All right. We'll be going on a break. And we'll be taking our sponsor's message. We'll be right back after this timeout. 
This show is brought to you by Connect, providing fixed satellite internet everywhere in Nigeria, even far from the city. Getting internet at home or at work has never been so easy with Connect. This show is brought to you by Connect, providing fixed satellite internet everywhere in Nigeria, even far from the city. Getting internet at home or at work has never been so easy with Connect. Fixed satellite internet up to 100 Mbps with unlimited data usage directly from space. Find out more on connect.com. We're still looking at the implication of the uh, withdrawal limits placed by CBN on individuals and organizations. And our guest is still in the studio, uh, Mr. Uh, Erure Phyllis. Okay, now, the redesigning of the uh, Naira was the action preceding this one. Do you think government is being too fast with uh, its policy of actually going cashless? Yes, the government is very fast at that. What the CBN governor would have done after the redesigning, you know, the policy came in as a surprise to every Nigerian. What they were supposed to have done, they were supposed to go for town hall meeting, hear the opinions of Nigeria, what would be the benefit and what would be the problem that it will associate after this introduction of this policy. So the, the policy is too quick in the uh, in process. The CBN would have taken steps to enlighten Nigerians on his uh, plan. Okay. Now, do you actually see this policy strengthening the Naira? Yeah, to some extent, to a large extent, it will strengthen the Naira. Because if you look at the event that precede the announcement of, re of the designing of the Naira note, you see people who have stuck their money somewhere. You see the lot of money that were destroyed and uh, they are now rushing into bringing in. So, so the policy to some extent, just as I said before, it depends on the individual, how you respond to it. And that is why we are human. But generally, it will affect so many sectors of the economy, most especially the common man. It will affect the common man in some like to some large extent. Okay. Now, uh, looking at the launch of the e Naira, yeah. since the launch of the e Naira, uh, the uh, central bank's government says uh, they've recorded 700,000 transactions uh, at eight, uh, which is rated at 8 billion Naira since its inauguration uh, last year. Yeah. Now, with this policy coming into play, don't you see uh, that the e Naira we actually uh, have more persons actually uh, the e naira will be the use of the e naira will be more yes the use of the e naira will be more to the enlightened nigerians okay <laughs> to the common man who is in the village he doesn't know what is called the uh, e naira so what they believe though they still go to bank to make transaction by the time they, they if you record have it that we have a, a, about 96% of a small scale business in Nigeria, which those who are more into trade, petty trade, those are the per people that this policy will affect more. They will prefer to keep their money than queuing in the bank or getting to the bank. They are being told that they are limited to uh, a certain amount of money that they can withdraw. So that those are the set of persons the policy will affect. Okay. Uh, now, what's the implication of this policy on businesses? It will, most especially the petit trade and even bigger organization, it will also affect them because you have a limit. Let's assume, like I said before, time is money. Your rate of turnover, if you buy something today and you want to sell it, 
but if you want to buy something that is more than the limit that you can get within a week and you must trade within a period of time so at that time you need bulk of money you might be limited to stock and that will hamper your your business operation okay with this policy there is no limit to transfer and all of that it's just the limits to the cash you can actually handle can't uh, businesses actually get involved with the doing of uh, uh, transfer but because it, to an extent it's yeah. even safer you carrying cash and you doing transfer yes is the transfer issue is but it is stated that once you exceed your limit within a week there are percentage of charges that will be for the cash for withdrawal. the cash withdrawal yes well for those who are into electronic uh, transaction it will be the policy is good for them okay it will help to boost the economy okay now do you actually see this policy helping to actually reduce the inflationary pressure we've actually been facing some time now in the country yes it will it will reduce it because you know the inflation of a thing comes in as a result of the bulk of money that is in circulation okay now that the money is being is on most especially half of it is on electronic uh, transaction it will help to reduce it okay all right thank you so much mr eru ray felix uh, vice chairman anand worry branch thank you so much for your insightful contribution thank you Okay, this is wrapping up business angle for today. Urging you to join us same time next week, Tuesday, for a fresh edition of the program. A mercy, a mercy. This show is brought to you by Connect, providing fixed satellite internet everywhere in Nigeria, even far from the city. Getting internet at home or at work has never been so easy with Connect.